All right, uh, this video today is uh, how to replace O-rings in case you have a leak. I'm going to cover all the O-rings, the areas uh, that will leak, and eventually you can fix it yourself. All right, I removed uh, the stock. I disconnected the trigger uh, horseshoe here from the trigger. Now, we want to remove the air tube separately from the rest of the assembly. All right. To do that, we need to uh, loosen these two screws here as holding the breech assembly. Now we're going to slide the breech assembly away from the tube assembly and the barrel. Get there's some little wiggling, I'll slide off just like that. Put the breech assembly to the side. Alright, now you need to loosen this two, well four, cap screws that's holding the the barrel and the air tube together. All right. Now we're going to slide it this way because uh, you can't slide it towards aft because the, the fill cap assembly will get in the way. All right, we got the two out of the way, I mean, uh, separated. All right, while we, uh, I'm going to discuss here. Well, first, we've got uh, this screw here, the bleed valve. We have to bleed it up. All right. So look at your fill pressure. There's pressure there. So we're going to bleed all that pressure out before you attempt to... Uh, unscrewed the valve assembly and a field probe cap assembly. All right. All right, I'm gonna pause this real quick then we go continue on disassembling the cap. All right, uh, well, pressure is almost gone. Gate says zero. To make sure all the pressure is out, just try to open a valve. If you can't open it by your finger, just press it against the wood. It'll dump the remaining air in the tube. And you push it in and out with your finger to ensure there is no pressure and it's safe to unscrew the caps. All right, first one we're gonna unscrew is a valve assembly. Alright, there's the main valve. The only thing that seals the air from this tube is this outer o ring here. Alright, if that leaks, you will see if you're looking for a leak, you dunk it in the water or you use uh, soapy suds. On these two holes right here, there's a little, a little hole called telltale tube, I call them. If air comes out of here in this hole here, this O-ring is leaking. All right. 
if this second door uh, hole here leaks, I mean, I'll show you. I'll pull it out. Is the regulator is leaking? All right. The regulator is in like this. If this O-ring on a high pressure side leaks, it will leak through this little hole right here. All right. The second O-ring here it separates the regulated air, so it doesn't get mixed up or get equalized by high pressure air. All right. High pressure, low pressure. All right. That's the only uh, part of the regulator. If it leak on this O-ring, it will come out of here. That's the only thing will drain your pressure on your main tube here. All right. On your on your valve assembly, it will leak through here, or you leak to your main valve. All right. That's a two. Uh, only two places it will leak. Well, all right. Now we're going to remove the front tube. To remove this, you need a, a dowel pin. Stick it in a fill probe. And you just gotta unscrew it. focus here. Make sure this focus. Alright. Also on a furnace tube there's a little telltale hole. That leaks. If the air comes out of there, this O-ring is leaking. Alright. Clean this off. Let me clean this up and let me pause real quick. I will continue disassembling the fill cap, the fill probe assembly, and the gauge assembly. Alright. Inside the fill assembly is a check valve. There's an o-ring in here. If that leaks by, you'll dump your pressure. All right. Let me take it out and show you. There it is. Just a little o-ring. Right, next, we're going to take the gauge assembly apart. I'll show you the other o ring underneath the gauge assembly. Spring out. There's a gauge. And I'll remove the o ring. Dirty in there. Anyway, here's the O-ring. Okay. I could tell I'm gonna replace this O-ring because uh, it's deformed. I mean, when it's deformed and hard, it has no squeeze to properly seal. Okay. I didn't have no leak on this since I have it disassembled. I'm gonna replace that O-ring. All right.
There you go. All this, it's all completely disassembled. And I showed you where all the possible o-ring that would leak, need to replace, and and hopefully you could uh, fix the leak. All right, when I usually reassemble an energy tube right here, where the threads end to the ID, where the O-ring slides into, has a sharp burr. I sand all that out on the front tube. Even the the threads I sand down lightly with a 600 grit. Get all the burrs out. Run your finger through it. Make sure nothing's sharp. Because those O-rings are going to run up right over those uh, sharp burrs, including the back air tube side. I mean the regular air side. To tell the difference between the two, the front of the tube has only one little telltale hole. The back side has two. One, two. So you reassemble it, you gotta know which one goes where. Alright? That's about cover this video. I don't want to make this video too long in reassembling it because when I reassemble it, I'm going to fine tooth and comb, make sure all the O-ring sealing surface are clean, all the burrs are there, off. I clean everything, re-lube it. I put, uh, I use Molico 55. It uh, lightly swells the O-ring while it's in place. Other than that, that's it for this uh, video. Uh, maybe after this, uh, I'll demonstrate how to reassemble it. And uh, I'll also uh, modify the spring here. Because uh, this fill cap, to me, the spring is too tight. It's like a guillotine. It's pitching my fingers sometimes. So I'm going to make it weaker, shorter, cut the spring so I could open it one finger and put the fill probe in at the other and it doesn't happen that way with this strong spring I can't push it open because it drags the whole gun it doesn't hold it in place I have to drag it I can't open it steady so with the lighter spring hopefully I can do it one uh, two fingers open it put the fill print fill probe and fill it and it doesn't slam like a guillotine and pinches you and pinches the o-ring on a fill probe so that's one uh, other modification I need to do and I hope this helped you out. All right.